Today we have a new battery from Golden Maid. Let's open it up. All right, here's your user manual. We can do four in parallel, four in series. This is a 200 amp hour, 12 volt battery. Uh, it says our standard charge current is 40 amps. The maximum charge current is 100 amps. Our maximum continuous discharge is a 120 amps. <sighs> All right, and there's the beast. I do like these carrying handles much better than a strap. Of course, this battery is way too big to even, even try to do a strap. Ben suggests that I add weighing these batteries as part of the test. So, great idea, Ben, and that's what we're going to do. Ooh. This one's coming in at 55 pounds. And if you guys ever have any suggestions, please throw them in the comments because I can't think of everything and you guys are super smart anyway. So if you've got some suggestions or any ideas how to improve anything on the channel or anything that I'm doing, please let me know. All right, let's charge this guy up. So we're going to use the lead time 60 amp charge controller to charge this monster battery up. Mainly because I want to test their app now because remember last time when we tried this, this charge controller, I couldn't find an app. Well, there's now one available, so let's try it. Is it this SPEN01? All right, guys, so their, their Bluetooth app does not work. So they, need to, they still need to fix this thing. It's not showing this device in the, the list. There's a problem. But what I did do is somebody in the comments told me that these were made by a company called Helios. So I did look them up and you can search for Charge Pro 2 app in the App Store, which is this one. And let's do a scan here. See, we, we find a whole lot more devices. The device name is actually BTLT MPPT4860. And it does work. So we see 56.4 volts on the PV, now 51 volts on the PV. Shows the current, so we're pulling uh, 3.1 amps, the voltage, power in watts, the DC load status. See, turned it on over here. So this app right here works perfectly fine. So I would use this if you've got this charge controller until lead time gets theirs fixed. All right, so we're just going to let this charge this big old battery up, and I'll be back. All right, we have fully charged this battery. According to the app here, we are in float mode, and we're pushing in only about 3 watts. And we've charged 643 watt hours into the battery. So that would mean that the battery came to us at more than like around 75 percent state of charge actually all right so let's hook this up and do a capacity test all right so we got the shunt hooked up let's go ahead and turn the inverter on and we'll crank up the ac let's go medium this is a pretty big battery so we want to pull some power all righty looks like we're drawing about 70 amps Okay, so it looks like we're pretty much settling in around 79, 80 amps. So, this thing says the continuous discharge current is 120 amps. So, we should be fine. And so, we're going to run it like that. I'll be back when it completes.
All right, guys, so we're down to 1% on the capacity test. And I'm pretty certain it's gonna make it. We're at 199.40 amp hours. We're at 2,551 watt hours. So just about eight, nine or eight watt hours short so far. Uh, which is great because I did review their 100 amp hour version of this and it came just slightly under the 100 amp hours and uh, it was that guy right there uh, also I reviewed their little 20 amp hour and I think it did also I think it also came in slightly under but I'm pretty sure this one's gonna make it and Roland also reviewed this one and it and it did pass the capacity test. So I think if you're looking at this brand and if you can get this larger one, if you can afford the larger one, I think this is the one to get. And it's a really good value. All right, so we did pass the capacity test. Uh, we have pulled 200 amp hours 2,561 watt hours. So for the mo for the big part of the test, I had ran this AC on medium, which was pulling over 80 amps. And then when it got down to about 8%, I lowered this down to the low setting, which is giving us this 38 amps that we're at right now. The reason why I wanted to do that because I wanted to lessen the load on the inverter so it didn't shut off so you know so the voltage drop wouldn't be as much and it wouldn't shut off as quickly i wanted to give this thing a good chance to make the full capacity and it's still going so that's awesome now this is a pretty much a crazy good deal i mean look at the this battery on their website they're selling it for 543 dollars that's just that's a smoking deal it also has low temperature protection so for 540 some odd dollars 200 amp hours with low temperature protection that is just ridiculous it's a, such a great deal and we're still going we're at 202 amp hours <laughs> what on earth how long is this battery gonna go we're at 206.22 amp hours 2636 watt hours and we're still at 12.2 volts holy smokes guys <laughs> we're at 212 amp hours 2706 watt hours when is this thing going to die one eternity later okay finally All right, my goodness, 215.15 amp hours, 2,740 watt hours. I think this might be, is this the new budget king? All right, guys, so this battery's already been torn down by Roland. So I'm going to link his video so you guys can watch the teardown. I don't really see a need for me to tear this one down if he's already done it. And he did a great job. He also tests the low temperature protection and that did work perfectly fine. My thoughts on this battery, I think it's a great deal and it uh, performs as it's supposed to. All right, so that's going to be it for the video and I'll catch you guys on the next one.